B Ideas, one of them, Holly, tagged me in a video, and it is the 40 questions tag video. So I have my MacBook right here, and I'm going to read out the questions and then answer them just for you. So I tag a bunch of people. I'll tag them in the sidebar, but anyone, if you're willing to do it, just do it, or if you want to do a YouTube channel, go ahead and do it. So skincare questions, and there's makeup questions. So skincare. How many times do you wash your face daily? I wash my face twice a day. It's really important, morning and night. What skin type do you have? I have combo skin, I have dry skin in this area, and then I have oily skin, oh, yeah, dry skin in this area, and I have oily skin here. It's kind of weird, it's all like a mix of places all over my face, so I'm not totally oily and not totally dry. What is your current facial wash? I'm using Mara Badescu's Acne Gel Cleanser, and I'm running out of it. It's really nice, and I really like it because it soothes the redness a lot, but Obviously, I think there are a bunch of substitutes for Mario Badescu, so you don't have to spend a lot of money on that. Do you exfoliate? No, I don't exfoliate. I don't tend to exfoliate because I feel like it's too harsh for my skin and it tears my skin. I used to exfoliate a lot. I had one skincare video I was talking about how I use St. Ives scrub every single day and everyone got mad at me on the comments section, but I, I don't exfoliate anymore simply because I do have semi-acne prone skin, so exfoliating won't be too good for that. What brand do you use of exfoliator? Again, I don't use an exfoliator. I know I should. Don't tell me I should. But um, as for the skincare in general, Mario Descu, Biotherm, Proactive. What moisturizer do you use? I use Biotherm's Aquasource Gel. Do you have freckles? No, I'm Chinese. I don't have freckles. <laughs> do you use eye cream? No, I don't use eye cream. I feel like I don't need to. Like I don't have like superbly like puffy eyes, you know. So I don't really use um, an eye cream. Do you or did you have acne prone skin? I still have acne prone skin. Like, well, okay, back in last winter, like basically a few months back, I had really bad acne prone skin. Like, I had acne in this area and it was just really, really bad, but now it has cleared up thanks to my own custom skincare routine, which I will be talking about soon. But yeah, it has cleared up. Did you ever have to use Proactive? Proact yes, of course. I've, I've reviewed Proactive. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay. Um, yes, of course. I've reviewed Proactive and stuff like that. So I gave it a three out of five. But I do have, I do start, I have started really liking the Proactive repairing lotion. Makeup. What foundation do you use? I use Elizabeth Arden's Pure Finish Mineral Makeup, which is right here. This is my everyday foundation. It's just really natural looking and great for every day. So I don't really like piling on the liquid foundation anymore because I don't need as much coverage as I used to. So using this is really good. How about concealer? I use Max Studio Finish Concealer in NC30. And that is my favorite concealer. It's great for every day. It really covers every single thing I need to cover and it does it really easily because all I need to do is like dab 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 and then put it on my skin and I'm done. Do you know your undertone color? Yes, I do know my undertone color. I have a warm or yellowish undertone color, which is great to know because in terms of foundation and blush, it's really important to know your undertone color. What do you think of fake eyelashes? I think they are awesome, but I'm too lazy to put them on every single day and it just it just makes me look really like Intense, like seriously, it makes me look intense. I wore it to the L'Oreal Melbourne Fashion Festival. I wore the MAC lashes, and I find those are the most comfortable fake lashes I've ever tried out. I hope it's not blurring up on me, but yeah, those are the most comfortable fake eyelashes I have ever bought. Other than that, the ones that are like two dollars, one dollar, yeah, they're cool, but they don't feel as comfortable as the MAC ones do for some reason. But all in all, fake eyelashes are cool. Did you know that you are supposed to change your mascara every three months? Yes, I do know that I'm supposed to change my mascara every three months, but do I do it? Not really because, um, yeah, I should do it. I do actually, I don't throw it away. I kind of leave it and I don't use it anymore. What brand of mascara do you use? Right now, uh, it's either, my two favorites are the Smashbox Bionic Mascara and the CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. Those are really good. Sephora or MAC? I love MAC. Like, if I were to just buy MAC, I would MAC, MAC, MAC. <laughs> Do you have a Mac Pro card? No, I don't because I'm not a makeup artist. I really want to take lessons though. Like I want to get a diploma. What makeup tools do you use in make in your makeup application? I have I use loads of makeup tools. I use too many. I'm not gonna name them all because you probably know already. All those all those Mac brushes, I use every single one of them. Do you use makeup base or primer for the eyes? Yes, I do. I use Mac Prep and Prime Light, and I use Urban Decay's Primer Potion. So I use those two to enhance my eyes. It does really, really help because it makes them 10 times more intense, and I think that's really good. 
for the face, no, I don't really use one for the face. I use Mario Desky's Sun Care and SPF 30, just basically a sunscreen for it, and it just does fine. It, my foundation doesn't run throughout, you know, out of the day and stuff like that. So it's absolutely fine. I don't need to make a primer. And plus, makeup primers tend to break me out. What is your favorite eyeshadow color shade? You know, guys, I'm into neutrals. I'm into smoky neutrals. So anything like dark browns and then, yeah, basically dark browns. Because if I use the light browns, then I look kind of like not awake, you know? Do you use pencil or liquid eyeliner? I actually use pencil for my waterline, my tight line, and then I use a gel liner for my lid line. Lid line. How often do you poke your eyes with an eyeliner pencil? No, I don't. <laughs> what do you think of pigment eyeshadows? I can't be bothered because I don't like loose powder, I don't like loose pigment, I don't understand why you would go for that instead of pressed eyeshadow. But if you are looking for pigments in general, I know pigments have generally a lot of uses, like you can put on nail polish, you can do all sorts of things, you can create so many things with pigments. But I just don't, I can't be bothered with pigments because I'm not really a color person, like, you know, I don't really create eye looks and stuff, so no, I don't use pigment eyeshadows. Do you use mineral makeup? Yes, I do use mineral makeup. I use the Lisp Art and it's my everyday foundation and I love it. What is your favorite lipstick? Currently, it is Max Please Me Lipstick in Matte. I really like that shade on me. However, it can get a little drying, so I do like Lusters more. And my second one would probably be Sweetie by Mac, and that one is really nice. Really nice shade. How about lip gloss? I like Shiseido's PK406. That is my favorite lip gloss ever. It is the smoothest texture. you got to try it out if you are at a Shiseido counter. What is your favorite blush to use currently? I love Max Pink Spoon. I'm in love with it. I have it right now, and I have it with NARS's Den Blush. I love it. Do you buy your makeup in e on eBay? No, I don't you buy my makeup on eBay. Do you like drugstore makeup? Uh, it's not like I don't like drugstore makeup, because I do really like CoverGirl's Lash Blast, but... I don't really buy drugstore makeup. I buy department store makeup. So you guys already know that because my whole channel is dedicated to department store makeup. Do, do you go to CCOs? I wish I really had a CCO, but I have never been to a CCO. Maybe when I go to the States, like hopefully I will go to one. Did you ever consider taking makeup classes? My If my camera blurs up, it's my camera's fault. Anyway, um, did I ever consider taking makeup classes? Yes, of course, I have. Consider taking makeup classes. I want to, and it's not just considered. I know I'm going to. Are you clumsy in putting on makeup? Um, no, I guess not. It's because I do it every single day, and I've done it so many times and stuff, so no. Name a makeup crime that you hate. Uh, don't like it when people don't blend their foundation because it really looks uneven. I think that's just being lazy. Do you like colorful shades of makeup, uh, lipstick, eyeshadow, or neutral ones? I like neutral like, the farthest away I would go, lipstick-wise, is pink. You know? I like neutral. Which celebrity always has great makeup? I think Kim Kardashian, who is coming to Australia, by the way, has really, really good makeup, and she's just fantastic. I love her. I know she did a few bad things in her life, but still, she is, she is, she is so pretty. If you could leave the house using just one makeup item, what would you use? Concealer, because I don't like showing my blemishes. Could you ever leave the house without any makeup on? I have uh, when I exercise, when I, which is a rare occasion, but when I exercise, I do leave the house without makeup on. Do you think you look good even without any makeup on? Sometimes, but most of the time, I think I look better with makeup on. In your opinion, what is the best makeup line? I think the best makeup line is MAC, in my opinion, because number one, it's great products. Number two is that it's affordable. And unlike Makeup Forever, unlike Chanel, unlike those, really high department store makeup, it's more affordable than those. I know it's not as affordable as drugstore, of course, but in the high department range, then it's the most affordable one, um, and it's really good stuff. It makes me happy every time I buy something from there. What do you think of makeup? Makeup is the best thing on earth. So I hope this answered all your questions, and thank you Bee Ideas or Holly for tagging me. Your link will be in the sidebar so go check her out and subscribe if you like her and I hope you have a wonderful day today. Bye!